y'all it is your girl my michelle aka mmjco and i'm back to you guys with another video if you are new here hey y'all please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and to all of my returning viewers what's up so today i am going to teach you guys how i mold and style my pixie cut because it's really simple like it really ain't taking me that long to learn how to do it and it's really really easy and it's really not that hard like a lot of people like really you know think it is i am loving like the pixie cut life i am loving the pixie cut life like i don't want to go back to long hair for a minute so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the video all right y'all we about to go ahead and get right on into it so this is my hair after it being washed out the shower. For some reason, the relaxer didn't really straighten my hair. It just loosened my curl texture, which is fine by me. I am going to be using my Kira Care Wrapping Foam Lotion to mold my pixie cut. You do not want to use a mousse because a mousse will be too dense and the results will become out stiff. So now y'all can see that I am just combing out of my hair. You just want to use your comb to just flatten out your hair as much as possible. Like keep combing until your hair is flat and then you'll get to styling. Now when it comes to styling your mold, you can really honestly style it however you want. I know some people like doing finger curls, but mine is a little bit more simple than that. I just do like one swoop at the very front and then on the other side of my hair, I just comb my hair in like a S or a C formation to the front. So when I start to bump and flat iron my hair, it would fall in the C formation. And when you're styling the front or like curling it like how I am you want to make sure that it's flat as possible you don't want to make sure you have any like parts sticking up because it's gonna look weird when you take your strips off your hair from molding and you just want to take your time this really shouldn't be brushed because if you brush it it might look kind of crazy And a good trick just to make sure that your mold is completely flat is I'll take my the side of my comb and I'll just go over it over my head. Now this is my favorite part, the wrap strip. You guys just want to get you a good wrap strip and gently but at the same time firmly wrap the wrap strip around your head. It's pretty much easy and self-explanatory at the same time. just want to make sure that you wrap all of your hair personally for me you don't have to wrap every single inch of your hair but I like to because my hair curls up and so when I wrap all of my head and I end up looking like um 
a surgery patient, it helps my hair and prevents my hair from waving up at the end process when my hair dries. Now, once you have done finished wrapping your hair, I don't have a hair dryer that could sit underneath, so I just let my hair air dry for about an hour or an hour and 30 minutes. You could use whatever you want to speed up your process. So I'm just about to plug in my half inch flat iron. So when it's time to use it, it will be heat up in enough time. And I'm just taking off them wrap strips. I'm freeing myself from my wrap strips. And in the end, end, I end up looking like Josephine Baker, honey. sleep boy that that's that's a mold right there y'all that is a mold right there so next i'm using my design essential silk essentials so i can add some moisture and some shine to my hair before i flat iron it all you need is a little dollop and i'm going to be rubbing my hands together and just smoothing it over my hair Okay, so next I'm just going to loosen up my hair from my mold. So I'm just going to gently take the teeth of my comb and run it over my mold so my hair can loosen up and it'll be easier to flat iron as well. And also so your hair won't look so stiff on the part that you are not flat ironing. Okay, so when it comes to flat ironing, I just take the end piece of my rat tail comb and slip me a line and just bump and curl. Now, I don't do too many bumps and curls, and I also bump and curl my hair the way that my hair is laid flat against my head. And I just do that all around my hair. Like I said, I don't add a lot. I add a pretty much moderate amount, but yeah. So this is the easy and final part. I'm just gonna take my comb and I'm just going to comb my hair the direction that I molded my hair in. And as you guys can see, it just falls just effortlessly. to molding down you know the rest of the hair is just in the same way just comb it either to the sideways or the direction that you molded your hair in but you don't want to comb it too much where it'll look extremely flat because you know you bumped your hair for a reason and that is how you mold and style your hair <laughs> Thank you guys so 
so much for watching my video i really hope that you guys learned how to you know mold and style your pixie cut and you know style it to however you like to it to be styled please don't forget to like comment and subscribe comment in the comment section below whatever y'all want to see next on this channel and i will see y'all in my next video